ladles, jelly spoons, and other non-binary kitchen utensils. This is the Gravy Wheels podcast. You're we're trying to keep it a weekly dose of gravy. We're trying our hardest. We're so Feeling trying. Good. As of the last three weeks, we're hanging in there. We're all kind of settling uh, in, man. As you can see, everybody's pad is a little bit more settled in. Andrew's uh, bed is off of the floor now, I think. Yeah, it is. It's on a thing now. So, that's a thing. Frank's... Uh, I'm Andrew, by the way. <laughs> Frank's... Uh, you gotta insane. introduce yourself, so you fucking dumb people. I'm Franklin. <laughs> Alright, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? man. Hey. What you guys up? How you been doing? Oh, uh... No, never mind. What? I'm just saying that the, the, the only person to listen to this, Marissa, you know us. <laughs> yeah, Marissa knows who we are now. She might she might be a guest on here. We'll see. Hi, do Marissa. It. I don't know who you are, but my friends speak highly of you. Honestly, you probably played Xbox with her back in the in the high school days. In the proverbial at days some point of old. Yeah. All right. Word. Well, hi again. Good to talk to you again kind of through it <laughs> so um i spent a lot of time adding things i don't know if you noticed any changes oh did you get a water fountain yeah i got a water fountain <laughs> what do you think Let's, do you think that this is going to be the Sonic. lowest viewed video on youtube with a gold play button featured in it And yes, um, yeah, but I think all the effort was worth it in the end, even if it only gets 40 views, you know, so I even, I even cleaned the glass. I didn't have wow. Windex, but I used, um, I think I used a, a, a I don't know. I don't know. Se Secretions. A dude wipe? Just rubbed your face all over. a dude wipe. But, um, yeah, this is, this is my shit, dude. What do you think? This is going to be a uh, podcast. Oh, look, you guys unlocked an achievement. Cool. I was at Costco, or not Costco, I was at a Target, and I saw this, and I'm not used to shopping at a Target. So I was like, oh my god! I think it was like $30, but I had to have it, dude. That's, that's Target prices. Just for that moment right there, where I presented you guys with it. Do you guys know how much stupid shit I buy on the the, the always? Yeah, like the <laughs> yes, we do because we all share a group chat. I've started oh. building Gundam models again. Those That's... those are fun to sell. Those are super fun to build. But also, do you guys know about the healing properties of crystals? I've been told of them, but I don't believe them. You said at Aldi. <laughs> oh. You bought that at Aldi? No, I did not buy this at Aldi. I thought all they had was pumpkin spice champagne and shit. This is an Argon crystal. Would you like to... You have... Oh my, what is oh. wrong with you guys? I don't have a fucking pyramid. <laughs> you right. could. And that, can Christmas I, is coming up. I better get one. That's can all can I tell you what this does? It helps Other you... Than when you sit on it, it makes you come faster? It lets you communicate your intention to your organite objectives. Meditate. Gorgonites? You need You need to meditate Small it. soldiers? <laughs> the Gorgonites. Yeah. <laughs> you need to hold it in both hands. I wrecked your attention toward it. Feel and sense the energy emanating from it. You can use it to remove pain by placing the pyramid on the painful spot. Jamming it into your eyes. Uh, um, for protection from electromagnetic radiation... You can put this next to your Wi-Fi routers, your mobile phone chargers, your satellite dishes, uh, radios, and basically anything that picks up a remote signal. I need a lot of those then. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, can a lot. You can place the organite around your community and any other places you think needs healing. Hmm. Uh, to feel the energy holding it in your hands or putting it upon palms towards it. Place an organite pendant or necklace. Around your dog's leash. Maybe Minnie needs one of these. Did you ever think Maybe about not that? not that big. I think she'll kill herself <laughs> on it. In, like within the first 24 hours. But 
you know what these idiots believe though? The the once Why a did week you buy that because <laughs> it was like ten bucks. <laughs> That's more useless Lots than of- my Xbox achievement trophy. <laughs> and it costs less too, dipshit, and it looks cooler. <laughs> you're, you're right. You could have got three of those for the price of my achievement yeah. trophy. But, but here's, you could make your own Triforce. Once a week, though, uh, you have to purify it by leaving it under cold water underneath the tap for, for a few minutes. Dude, I barely take out the trash. There's there, no way I'm taking care. I'm not watering a fucking pyramid. <laughs> And then you, and then you. But okay, it doesn't need to be filtered water though. It's just tap. That's what it says on the. What if you do it with? What if you do it out in the boonies with shitty ass well water? Well, if, if that's you, gonna fix yeah. your crystal. And then you're you, gonna get mineral deposits on your crystal. Yeah, because they had filtered waters whenever this fucking shit was dream, dreamt up back in the day. Uh, you charge it by keeping it in sunlight. O F R or USB C. O F R. OFR one day and moonlight for one in G H I T. So I need to set this outside so it can charge and, and heal one, me. Nagite. Oh, people are morons. I did, you get off, did you get that off a Facebook ad? No. No, I spent a lot more money on Facebook ad shit than I do on Amazon. Me too. I wake up in the morning and while I'm still like coming to my senses i buy stuff on impulse it's bad those facebook ads get you man they know me too well They're at this point so perfectly targeted it's it's like all my facebook ads now are like do you want to see blankets made out of cool tarot card designs <laughs> and like hype beast clothes I, no you said I, like yeah. i need to tell you what i purchased like Three or four days ago. I'm what? laying in bed. I wake up. I see the entire, like, what do you call it? A diorama or whatever of uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The house, the garage, the fucking trailer. Uh, shitter's full, pumping the fucking the septic tank down into the thing. And then Griswold with the this action plugging it all in and it's a light up ceramic full fucking thing i spent 170 dollars for the entire set oh and the station wagon with the christmas tree on top but it it's like a legit pretty big ceramic set and i looked up some of the stuff on amazon and it was like 150 dollars just for the house so i was like Wow, you we'll got see. a great deal on your big great stupid deal, ceramic Andrew. house. I approve it, it's, of it. It's like it's like Katie's favorite movie in the world. We have to watch it every year, and some you know sometimes off season too. So I uh, I took the chance. We'll see because it was a pretty shady website, but I paid through PayPal, so PayPal protection. I've got two things. First, uh, yeah. I've got one thing for Andrew and one thing for Joseph. It. Um, um, uh, it's not, uh, and I, I was on a, a voice call with uh, somebody on an internet dating website, and uh, I said tarot cards. You know, that's not how it's pronounced. What is it? Is it tarot? Tarot. Ross Tarot? It's a tarot cards, supposedly by this Wiccan bitch. Whatever. All right. Not going she's there. She's gonna, she's gonna hex you, man. Oh, yeah, be cool. Yeah. Really? I've got like the you bad. Just... Oh, whatever. You is that why you bought the crystal? It was like a preemptive line of defense against what? this this poor woman you were about you need, to slander. You need to exonerate us real quick, by the way. You get hexed all you want, but Andrew and I have nothing to do with this. No joke. I literally found this crystal pyramid thing in a suitcase, and I don't know how it got there. That's you know that's, how much bad that's karma the truth. that might have in it, man. You never take someone else's crystal pyramid. No, but uh, it was in my suitcase. It, it becomes mine. Day. Somebody Six placed hours. it. They jinxed it and put it in his. Some gypsy put sweat water on it with like some. Uh, I got this. I need to mail you stuff for her birthday and your birthday. I have one of those right over there. The same exact one. Uh, yeah. Did you get it from Hobby Robbie? Yeah. Yeah, we did too. I've got. We've got EV Pikachu. Um, I'm trying to think if she already put a Pikachu together or not. She put, I put together Mewtwo 
and she put together something. It, it was probably Pikachu. That's her favorite Pokemon. So I know, and I still I stuff to mail you guys. Those things are awesome because they're like four dollars at Hobby Lobby, or I think I think we got them for like three bucks. They were because yeah. you know how Hobby Lobby is. They're like oh, our pricing seems a little extreme, but did you know we're having a forty percent off sale? Woo! So sorry, I don't know why I got so. Anyways, since we're playing Love show and tell right now, I got something to show you guys. Oh, how did you get that? Oh. I got another one in the more classic. Let me. Oh, microphone. Dumbass. Look at that. That's the color scheme oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah. On the signage. Yep. Uh, so I was on vacation in Texas. Yeah. Uh, a year ago? Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year. And you were like... And uh, <clears throat> we needed uh, the the Game Boy Advance SP chargers for my son's Game Boys were crapping out. And uh, we needed a new one. So I just looked up like video game supplies or whatever in the small town that we were in. And uh, I was very surprised to see Game Exchange. I thought back in the day... It was the only one? For those of those that don't know, we had a game exchange. We didn't get a GameStop until like maybe 10 years ago or something like that. So during our high school years, the only thing we had was Walmart and game exchange. And Walmart like had games, but I mean like that kind of stuff was very limited. And you definitely weren't going to find any collectibles or anything like that. So, yeah. you know, stuff that you wanted to see from a GameStop. Like we didn't really have it in our town, but we had a game exchange, which was basically a GameStop. Um, except for they also had like VHS and DVDs and basically yeah. just anything they could. It was basically a pawn shop with like no jewelry and shit. Um, but yeah, so I found that in the in, on my little Google search or whatever. Went there and bought um, mm -hmm. the chargers and shit we needed. And on our way out, Katie actually spotted it. They had like an entire oh. rack. They must have like just redesigned or moved stuff around or something because they had like fifty of those things. And they were like two ninety nine a piece. Because who else is gonna buy that? But yeah. for me, that was just like super nostalgic to find that. So I bought, you know, bought two of them and brought them home. So, well, good for you. Yeah, man, I was super excited for those. We were like, um, pr probably like one of the only people. But a lot of fun times at that place. A lot of memories. A lot of money spent My there. First, got first Xbox three hundred and sixty. Oh yeah, yeah. We, That's on day one. Skip we driving the van or the 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 dirty brown <laughs> crown fit. I believe it would have been the Crown Vic uh, that uh, day. They got I believe one. I had to be there first. I believe that game exchange is where I got my Sega Genesis copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker out of a giant bucket. Very nice. Yeah, That's still awesome. have it. When he got his Xbox, he put the seatbelt around it, and all of us Votech kids saw him ditching school to get it. Right there at Ginny Jane Stadium. I'm waiting at the stoplight. I'm like, I got my 360, dude. You don't understand. This 360, I went in weeks before. I'm like, all right, you guys getting the Xbox 360. They're like, yeah, but we're only getting one. I'm like, what the fuck? One Xbox 360? I took in like a... And now I think about it and I fucked up. I took in like an SNES, an NES, a Genesis, a Saturn. I took in like six consoles, I think, and just all the controllers and hookups and games and shit I had. Traded it in for in-store credit because at the time, what year was that? What, what year did the 360 come? That out? was 2006, 2007. Uh, was it that? Yeah, I guess it could have been. I feel like it was probably like two, 2005, 2004. No, but I... Somewhere around there. But I could... Anyways, was, I didn't really have uh, a job at the time. It was junior so, year. Yeah. It was junior year, and I couldn't drive junior year. I could only drive two, senior 2000, year. 2005. Um, what? What? So, that's what we. That's what you had to do as a kid, though. Like, if you yeah, didn't you just have, had, and you know, I probably bought some of that my stuff from money that I worked for or whatever. But mom bought most of it, I'm sure. But she was like, there... whatever. So I traded. I traded it all in uh, for trade in, like six hundred dollars in trade in or something, because I think they made it like a bundle to try to squeeze every penny out of it. Um, and I had to ditch school and drive in and make sure that I was the first one there. And I remember getting there. As, like, 2015, I would have been, like, 16, maybe 17. And I remember, like, an older guy getting there after I got there. And I was like, this guy's going to, like, beat my ass or something. And uh, he kind of just was like, oh, you got here first. And I'm like, 
clearly, and then he fucking left, and I got the Xbox 360. But yeah, Frank and the Votech bus. They busted me, man. I was playing hooky. And back then, you like, I feel like these days no one really cares, but I was, like, trying to be secretive. Hey. What's... What's the most painful thing that you can remember God. owning at one point that you traded in at some other point because you were fucking broke? The Mega Man collection that came with the GameCube. They gave me like oh. $15 credit for it. And then I went back in sometime later and saw it, like it on the 200 wall bucks for like or something. 180 or something. And I was like, yeah. what? Because yep. I was just like not interested in Zelda. And I'm like, this is just like a bundled fucking stupid like demo disc or what you know, I didn't even know what the fuck it was. And then I bet if I looked it up now, shit. So uh I, I've got a similar story. I think I'm the only one of us here that like plays any instruments or anything. Right? Yeah. Um I had somebody that owed me some money and they gave me a guitar, kinda similar to that, but it was from a I Rhodes and Smith. It was like a, a guitar that would like, and I'm a lefty. So if, if you give me a right hand guitar, that doesn't do anything for me because I either have to flip it around. It will never sound right. It'll never play right. I can flip the bridge and the nut around and the strings uh, reoriented pickups. It, like it's never really going to sound right. And somebody owed me some money once like three or 400 bucks. And they gave me like an old ass guitar. Uh, but it was right-handed, and it was, like, all fucking weird and shit. But there was only, like, 600 of them made. <laughs> yeah, and nice. guess who sold it for fucking drug and alcohol money? For, like, 70 bucks. Who yeah, has of nine course. and a half fingers? This guy. Oh, wait. That guy. But this is I, way uh, before, yeah. Oh. I have a, a couple of the painful ones I remember is I had all of the... I had the whole set for Samba de Amigo on the Dreamcast with oh, like yeah? the maracas. Yes, yes, Kitty, I did. You b- believe me? This is the truth. This is Pericles, by the way. Per- Pericles. Pericles. It's like like Heracles, like, like the classic. Like, like Pericles, but it's Pericles. Okay. That's an interesting name. And I had a an arcade stick for my Dreamcast that people call the Green Goblin. If you look these up, they're still like. It, well, they're still in demand. Uh, and it was fucking awesome, but my cats like chewed up the cord to it and it made it basically useless. So instead of trying to switch the cords out, I uh, yeah just ditched it, which I really regret. And basically any SNES slash Genesis game that we took out of the, out of the box yeah. slash wrapper. I guess SNES make you know, more so. Yeah, I mean, well, you can't really include that, though, because it's like... Of course, you're going to play your SNES games. You're fucking 13 years old. You're not going to, like... Why wasn't I thinking, like, hey, Mom, let's buy two copies and leave one... She would have been like, Because they, they were still expensive back then, though. No, they were yeah. still, like, 30 or they 40 bucks, expensive. right? There were some games that were, like, 60, 80. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember that we went through... At one point, we had four NESs that Dad kept in the no, and he doesn't play shit. He, you, if you give him like the A and the B button and start and select in the D pad, that's too, too much. much. That's too much for him. But yeah, he, he could, one button. He could kind of play some stuff, but no. But we I, had like four NESs. Oh. And we constantly clean them I'm out. Sad about. I like. I don't. I don't remember seeing snes nes was definitely too old but i don't remember seeing like snes and stuff even like nintendo 64 i i don't i don't have any memories of like that stuff sealed in the store oh i, I do I, I remember like having the games and like seeing them underneath you know because you have like that giant fucking box uh entertainment center that your tv went in and then there was always like cabinet doors that open up underneath like that's where the games were and shit like that but i don't really remember like going and seeing shelves full of boxed games i remember it would be so awesome i remember going to toys r us in kansas city um shortly after the n64 came out i think and the way that they had all of their games for sale was that they just had walls and walls of these like little plastic um, uh, pronounced sort of like pockets 
and you pulled a slip out of the pocket, took the slip up to the register, the counter, and, and they, they took it. Out of the, yeah. Yeah, then they would take it and give it to you right there. And I just remember, I remember also being there after the Virtual Boy came out and seeing all the slips for the Virtual Boy. Like how exciting that was. But that thing was, it was dog shit because it wasn't Fowler. It was somebody that we knew back in the day. Well, there, somebody's dad had a Virtual Boy where we went to elementary school at, but this may have been before you moved over to where we were at. Yeah, I don't remember ever. I, I don't remember ever seeing a And it was game. just like, like, I forget, like, the two games that we played were just fucking horrible. And it was not comfortable. And it wasn't, like, fit no. for the size of my fucking head. You know, it, They were awful. It, and it wasn't even... I mean, ugh, it was gross. Because, like, it didn't fit on your head like this thing, and it didn't fit on your head like this thing. It was not... Yeah, but hey, I mean, those things are still not uh, like a hundred percent comfortable. But I'm sure they're obviously way better. They're not. I I also just remembered that at one point I owned a Sega Nomad, and I really oh. wish I still had that. I had oh, Nomad was cool. I had a a GP32. Did we ever talk about that? I had that Game Park so, 32. Yeah. It was a, a little console that came out of South Korea, and I could play like. Doom and I could put all the Doom wads on it, all the wad files. That's what I always remember explicitly is that you had Doom on there, and I remember just thinking it was so fucking cool to play Doom on a handheld. But I was like, at the time, that that was pretty. That I mean, at the time to be like Doom on a handheld, most people didn't ever have that experience in the early two thousands. And it had a backlight on it, and I was like twelve or thirteen years old, and I had to get a money order. And mail that to fucking South Korea. <laughs> How did you? Did your parents help with that? Or did you do that all on your own. Uh, somehow it, it was like it was like two hundred and forty dollars for the system, and then I had to buy the cards to it, and then I had to read on forums how to flash it and how to get all the emulators I'm and shit on it. They even let you do that. That's so impressive. They let me do a lot That's... of shit. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> It's okay. I signed up. I signed up for a credit card in high school so I could get a T-shirt. Nice. I had I had a Street Fighter credit card for a while that like I couldn't use because it was only a prepaid card, but I had to go through all the rigmarole and there's like yeah. interest on it and shit. You just reminded me of something. Do you guys remember the Xbox Live gamer card cards, physical cards? Oh yeah, yeah yeah. They tried to like. I think they did a similar thing where you were... Yeah, there was, like, deals at McDonald's and shit, wasn't there? I remember getting mine, and it said Jehovah's Witness on it. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that, no. They were like, yeah, they... I remember you just went to the website and signed up or whatever. And it was kind of like... um, Kind of like whenever you buy one of those, like, fundraiser cards, you know, where it's like, use this at McDonald's, you get 10% off your order or whatever. It was stuff like that. It wasn't anything, like, super crazy. But, yeah, I remember, I don't think I ever used it anywhere, but I just thought it was cool to have, like, my Xbox Live gamer card, physical card, that to I show people in my wallet. And I probably just chucked that at some point, and now I'm like, fuck, that would have been so cool to just, like, have on a shelf somewhere. You know what would be awesome is if we had storage units of all of the bullshit that we've thrown away, it just, instead of actually throwing stuff away, we had, like, storage units Start. where we just put stuff away. Go through it later. Oh my god! You know how much money you make on eBay, dude? Look at look on uh, eBay. People sell their old uh, blockbuster gift cards or uh, yeah, membership s- cards and shit. I believe hey, that. You know what I'm trying to buy on eBay right now? What? Up doll? No. That can withstand the jabs of the nub. A Lotus Esprit. No, no. What? Uh, some of those like uh, uh, jackets that you could get with Marlboro Miles. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> my, I had a friend. I, I had a friend whose dad. My friend's dad had one of those, and he. I remember my friend also came to my sleeping. Came over to like a sleep a sleepover once, and he had a Marlboro sleeping bag <laughs> that his dad bought with points, and I was like, "That's fucking wild." Yeah, I remember my mom and uh, my brother's dad had a bunch of that stuff. They would save all the tab. What You had to save like a piece of the carton, I think. 
mail them off or whatever the hell you had to do. <laughs> There's something so funny about like a fifth grader coming over to somebody else's house with a Marlboro sleeping bag. <laughs> More like, bad. I mean, they're like, "Hey, the free, you know, a free sleeping bag." Yeah, free. I just had to pay for cancer. Yeah, somebody yeah. just got yeah. em- emphysema and lung cancer off of it. I, I shortened my life expectancy by 20 years. <laughs> by st- <laughs> but you got a sleeping bag, so. Yeah. There's that. Well, you know what? I'd rather smoke a real thing instead of smoking like this vape bullshit that's got like Rick and Morty on it. I thought that was a fucking roll of Mentos at first. Uh, is Dan Harmon seeing any money from that? Uh, I don't give a fuck. Is that unlicensed? Is that unauthorized Rick and Morty swag? Uh, bust me for it. I'm not the one fucking selling it. Ugh. <sighs> So. Um, I did something this week specifically for you guys. Oh, he did. And I was going to bring this up. Oh, I, shit. Yes, yeah. I'm excited. I, I watched all of Midnight Mass. My wife and I, my, my wife has, does not like scary Spo- stuff, but she was. Spoiler alert. First of all, click away because we're, we've all three seen it and we're going to probably yeah. go into depth here a little bit. We don't even have to well, say much to basically ruin the whole thing that makes it cool, in my opinion. Just so, it's, it, it, yeah. I mean, if you trust our opinions, just watch it. It's yeah. worth watching. Maybe you know, if you put a time stamp Oh, you actually do think it. that yeah. it is worth watching? You actually think that it was worth watching? I knew Andrew would yeah, be hard absolutely. to impress. Okay, all right, all right. Because at first you were like, ah. oh no, I was just I trolling was just, you guys. I was just we, fucking with you guys. We were so aggressive on like, watch it, watch it, watch it. I had a feeling he was just fucking with us for that. Yeah, I, I would send group texts that would be like more like midnight ass, etc. Oh yeah, because he was basically reinforcing what we said. Like we're like, it's a slow fucking burner, and I I remember saying the same thing. So Andrew's statement was something along the lines of every fucking mass so far has been it's like been in the, the middle of the day. Yeah, <laughs> more like midnight ass, and I was like, and I remember saying the same shit watching through it. I'm like, when, but, but when I started realizing why there was going to be a midnight yeah. mass, I was like, oh, this is fucking cool. Yeah, and I mean, like, I was just fucking with you guys. Right. Like, I'm, I'm very patient when it comes to stuff like that. I'll sit through a slow burn. I don't care at all. I um, like how Frank leaves right when we bring up the topic. Here. Right when we bring up the topic that we've been excited to talk about for three fucking weeks, he's like, hey, <laughs> this is my time to go fucking put rice in the rice maker. This son of a bitch. It's unbelievable, man. I'm still here. He can... <laughs> doesn't sound like it. doesn't it. count. <laughs> so, but overall, you enjoyed it and the wife did too? Yeah, we both really enjoyed it. Like, I mean... It's hard to argue with a show that's that well acted and directed and written and everything. The cinematography and everything was just like fucking yeah. beautiful too. The one complaint that I had is like early on with uh, the preacher on the beach in the rain. That scene was like very... I, w- I don't want to say it was poorly done because I'm sure like making a fucking... Making that character running on the side of a beach in a fucking storm was probably, like, one of the hardest things to fucking generate on a computer. But it looked a little cheesy. But they... It was, no, that's, it was just unnecessary. You didn't even need that that's sort of plot thought, yeah. thing anyways. They never even really, like, fully touched on that, though. They're like, oh, yeah, we thought we saw him on the beach or whatever. That's, yeah. Was it, like, but a they ne- yeah. Why the fuck would the vampire of fucking dressed up like the priest or the preacher? What are, the fucking, who, what are, what are those people called? Pastor or uh, Mon- priest. no priest. no no he's a, he's a monsignor he, he's the monsignor. he's the, he's he's monsignor is like the main Catholic priest um, uh. um yeah. but yeah I also thought I was kind of bummed how they sort of burned the really really good visual of the woman who died in the car accident in the first episode yeah. Because you keep seeing her, and it's really, really cool. You see her in the way that she yeah. has broken shards of glass, like, and it's reflecting the light, so it's flashing in this really cool way. It's a great image, but they don't do anything with it. it she just appears a couple up, times. Yeah, it didn't I thought that that was definitely going to lead to something because it was a reoccurring yeah. thing across what the first three or four episodes. Yeah, it like it's kind of gone. it's kind of an important part of uh, what's his face's character, Riley. And that's yeah. my thing is um, why this kind of touched me a lot. 
kind of like a Catholic priest, you know, you know what I'm saying? Nope. Um, is, uh, I really have a lot of few things that we could probably unpack about how I really associate with Riley as a character and as a person that I, I really feel very close to. And there was a scene where he's him and what's her face. I don't like her was more focused on him. Just want to gobble him up is whenever he's talking about like, you know, we're just all energy bundled together. We are all energy experience each other. Like that's like how I fucking look at life. And I have not seen that representation of how I feel about like spirituality and life and, and, people like displayed in television like it really isn't it's not buddhist it's close to buddhist but i think that's because people are afraid to dabble in anything that's not you know what i mean i well, was that the was that part of the death speech that where they sat on the couch and kind of discussed yeah. their yes their their views and thoughts on on life and afterlife well, and death specifically i thought that that scene was really fucking cool it was it was great we, yeah we start as dust and we end up as dust we we are we have to get back to the garden but we're still 4 billion year old carbon we are dust to dust which well i like i think i think they said something about or he said something like uh to the effect of like everything is me and after death i will be everything and i mm-hmm. like obviously i've had the thought of like you know you, you start off as basically nothing and end up you know in that i don't know but just the way that they put that i had never really had that thought and i thought that was a really fucking cool way of of looking at you know how, how they said that, that you are everything and then in the end or you are everything and then in the end you are everything again like i don't know it was just a fucking yeah. cool way to think about life so and death. that's a big reason why i liked the game everything so much because throughout the course of playing that game you hear snippets of speech from a uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, He's not he's not really a philosopher, but he's like sort of a you know, of that ilk named Alan Watts. Yes, and Alan his, Watts is his, fucking amazing. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. His whole yeah, his whole thing is very much based around like oh. the separation between you and everything else is pretty arbitrary. Before we get away from Midnight Mass no, real quick, I, I do I do wanna say uh that I also just think I, I couldn't really think of anything. But to me, it almost felt like a zombie experience, but with a fresh take. And obviously, it was vampires. But if you, th- I've never really thought either about how basically a vampire story is the same thing as a zombie story, just a little bit different. You know, like they're more agile, and you know they have a lot of different specific attributes, like light and in, and kill them and all that shit. But in a in a vampire setting, you get a lot more room for philosophizing. Like, because vampires are typically very eloquent. So you yeah, get to have all yeah, these yeah. dial, all these monologues and stuff where they explain, you know. It's kind of the yeah. big difference. But it was just, I thought it was really fucking refreshing to see. I don't remember a fucking vampire experience in a show or a movie since fucking Twilight. Honestly, like what? I, I can't think of anything. I'm sure there, there could have been, but. Um, I got. I, I, really I have some wrecks for you. I really enjoyed mm. it. Oh, I'm sure there's a few. Hello. I like how they tied it to religion. Hello, my name is Franklin. I am a human bartender from Canada. Uh, I am Franklin. I am human bartender. Jackie Daytona. <laughs> Jackie Daytona. <laughs> um, human bartender, Jackie Daytona. Oh, uh, he needs to um, watch that. Um, also, I just uh, you go ahead first because I'll go sappy into some shit. Well, I was gonna say that I, probably my biggest issue with uh, Midnight Mass was in the first couple episodes watching it and being like, why do you have all these obviously very young actors in old people makeup? I, yeah, it was Katie really, dry, I, it was really bothering me. The old woman, we were like, why the fuck? Is she She's got so obviously makeup up. And then when she started getting young again, it was like, well, okay. Duh. Yeah. Well, uh, but funny. they didn't even like dub her voice. Like they didn't have somebody else yeah. do her. She sounds like a young woman, like right. barely pretending to make an old person voice. Just moving a little slow and shit. Yeah, it was terrible. But yeah, that aside. Now be here. Nice chair, bitch. Um, because of that TV show and because other things go in my life, I'm trying to find some spirituality. 
because I ain't finding when drugs and alcohol and stuff. So I've been reading a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And crazy. Changing my fucking outlook on life, man. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That's good. Be here now. Here be now. Now be here. Be here now. Herbie fully loaded. Hmm. The story of Ramdas is so fucking crazy. You can't explain it. Um, but. But. <sighs> no, I, I can't go into it. No, we can't. We can't. We just got to move forward. We got to push forward. We can't right. go into this. It's just going to start talking about doing acid and shit. And we can't talk about that. Uh, have either of you guys watched Friday Night Lights? Well, yeah, but not all of it. I couldn't okay. watch all of it. The t- the TV show, not the show. movie. Well, the I series. Watch the show. No, the old one. That's not new at all. It's an ongoing series. It's been around for a long time, right? No, it's done. It's. I mean, the one I'm talking about ended a long time ago. Okay. Like a decade ago. Hmm. No, sir. I don't think so. All right. Well, the guy that plays Riley is in it, is why I was thinking of that. Oh, really? Wow. I like yeah. him. Um, but I have seen Blue Mountain State. Does that help? No. Riley is not in that. Blue Blue Mountain State is a really... If we would have played, like, high school football and then gone into, like, college football and everybody was still, like, the same way, we probably would have had an origin story just like Blue Mountain State at a college. That's because every football group of guys is the exact fucking same as far as what I can tell from movies because like varsity blues and I mean like how many football movies have you watched I and mean, like yeah that's you know like I could pick out characters and be like that's fucking J-Rod that you know what I mean like that's just how it is I don't know it's, I think it's not Friday Night Lights guys. baby what the fuck is locker talk you the know? fuck is J-Rod up to uh, is he like a Oh, he's not like a principal or like a football coach? I think he's something along those lines as well, yeah. <laughs> All right. You just munching on some Pez over there, bud? That's right. Oh, shit. I got something to show you, Andrew. My, you guys... my limited, my little Skeletor. Pez Spencer lives on my desk. Wait, did you see who's doing MODOK? Did you watch MODOK? I did watch Modoc. And you see who's doing the voice for Modoc now? Yeah. Why? Why not keep Patton Oswalt as Modoc? Oh wait, who's doing his voice now? He's going to be in uh, something else. No, I thought the the the, the new for the new Modoc movie is going to be fucking uh, Deathpool guy. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. I see. I see. Oh, I see. No, he looks like an old boy. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. I love old school Mario packaging. And look at that one. Wow, he looks terrible. Doesn't he? But the packaging is really cool. Cause look at Chris that. Pratt. Yeah. Ugh. And on the back, there's even some little... Yeah, I, I like how like Mario that. is just a little bit above all the others. Oh, no. It's, 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 a it's, little bit. it's Jim Carrey's going to be MODOK. Oh well, all right. I'll, I'll, I still love Jim Carrey, so I'll let that slide. Candies would kill me. No, eat them. No, eat them now. Fine. Eat them now. If you do that, I'll go grab a fucking MRE. No, I won't. Those are gross. 19. When are we having our MRE episode? Never. No, we're not. We're not. That's such a fun idea. The viewer wants to see it. No, they don't. They don't want to see us. The die. maker doesn't want to do it. Bitch, there's something called botulism, okay. motherfucker. When are we doing the hot chip challenge? The one chip. Uh, whenever, whenever Would you, you want. Do it? Would you do it, Andrew? Yes. Frank, I can't find them anymore anywhere because I've looked I at Hy-Vee and the guys. They're on Amazon. First of all, I have a stash. I have like seven of them. I'll mail you one. I got all you right. covered, sugar tits. Don't you worry. Daddy always taking care of us. <laughs> That's right. I got you, fam. You um, sick so the challenge. Way. I think you have to go at least five minutes without drinking anything, but you're supposed to go for like an hour for the true challenge without drinking or eating anything. I Man, I thought, I was like, ah, it's just a chip. And then I watched fucking What's-His-Face from Hot Ones, and he like 
freaked out a little bit when he did it. So I'm scared. Dude, no, stop. No, I fucking I fed those things to toddlers. No, you have not. <laughs> no, you absolutely have fucking not. Done you're that. thinking of acid tabs again. <laughs> Do you you're know thinking what? of fucking you're thinking of flaming hot Cheetos, mm. not the fucking one chip challenge chip that cost me twenty dollars for a single fucking chip. Oh, 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 I thought I was talking about four way street window pane LSD. Yeah, no, you're right. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he probably has he has an entire box of these. This is what we are do we with- ever are we ever gonna record a single episode of this fucking show where at least one of us doesn't get up and walk away for part of it? Oh, just because you're a champ and you don't, unless like there was that one time when you had you had chili dog pants and you had to leave. Chili dog pants. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's why I named the episode. Wait, who had chili That's dog right. pants? What the fuck is Me. that? I don't remember that. What happened? <laughs> I, I pooped a little on a podcast we recorded a while back. What? You never told me about this. How did I miss that story? Was, you were there for it. It was the title of the fucking episode. It was the only time. Chili dog pants. It was the only time that he ever had to like get out and leave the room. And maybe he didn't oh even. God. But, How did I not know this? I just sat and stewed in it. <laughs> it gives me so much shit because from time to time I also poop my pants. Okay, <laughs> dude, no, it happens. Hey, guys, happens no, us. no, seriously, we're getting fucking older, right? We're like, I know. So, um, do I ever, have I seen you pictures of like what I take daily on the when daily? You shit your pants? No, because yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't shit my you, pants. No, I don't. I think you I showed don't. us like your your ass ton of supplements that you take. I take quite a bit now, too, and it's because of you. Because I, I hear about... I'm like, if Frank takes supplements, how the fuck am I not taking supplements? So uh, I started taking, like, those airborne elderberries. Everything that we take is basically in gummy form, by the way. Which is funny, because it's literally a handful of fucking gummies. But I take yeah. two men's dailies. I take the airborne elderberries. We take uh, apple cider vinegar. We take um, a stress gummy. We take calcium... Uh, and then I think that might be it. And then, uh, we take, uh, I take, I, I was taking selenium for my liver enzymes because yeah. they were a little high. Yeah. Uh, but then we did some more research on selenium and it mm. kind of toxic if you take too much. Yeah. Yeah. So we stopped taking selenium and now we just take milk thistle and then <laughs> vitamin D. So, um, uh, I-, <laughs> I woke up this morning and drank a large cup of coffee and then ate a bunch of my son's Halloween candy. Nice. So, see, it, we're all doing our part. And now, now I have a migraine. <laughs> so, every morning and every night, I drink about two to three bottles of water to People take my really pills. just for drinking Aquafina. To, no, oh, wait, no, it, it doesn't. No, no. Dasani. Dasani's the one we hate. Dasani. Okay. Where's my other water at? Oh, it's gone. No, because I still drink the, the pH stuff. You Not put in a good word for the... At, with the Colligan man? Fuck you. No. I have to drink about two or three of these every night before I go to bed and whenever I wake up in the morning so that way I can swallow all the goddamn horse pills I take. Can I just... I want to shill real quick. Colligan, yep. if you're listening, if you're one of our seven viewers, hit us up. We'll sponsor you <laughs> because I never realized how cheap the Colligan service is. I live out in the fucking boonies. The Colligan man comes every other Friday... And they drop these off. I think it's like five bucks and then two dollar deposit or, or it's something very similar. So it's like seven dollars to get that fucking delivered to my door. We get like three of them at a time. That's fifteen That's nice. gallons yeah, of water. You live That's so fucking cheap. You live where we where we grew up at where all the water is fucking shit. It's all fucking we runoff well. water. It's totally Terrible. fine to drink. Our well water here is great. Is but it I like having it cold on tap? Does it smell like rotten eggs, though? No, not at all. If you he, live in the town, yeah. No, he's got... I've been there. He's got no sulfur. It No... The well water here is fucking... It's fine. All right. But you, don't, right. you don't know what else is in that fucking water, man. The fucking water table cannot filter out it's all the fucking... God's water, man. There can't be nothing bad in it, dude. All, all that Monsanto fucking fertilizer and shit and Roundup Ready crop and Roundup in it. Listen, Linda. I'm just... We boil saying. it. 
No, I mean, but we we do use that. I I, I don't like to run uh, any water other than filtered water through like my coffee pots and shit, anyways. So oh, that's yeah. another good thing about those. But Fancy. I, fucking, I I don't know about you guys, but the because like bottled water, I did for fucking years, and I hate having to like buy the big flats, and you got to load the fucking fridge, and then you got to keep restocking it and all that shit. And then you have all the plastic waste. Not saying that that's like, I mean, I, I'm sure there's some of that involved in this shit too, whatever. But, you know, it's just one more thing to deal with. Having cold water on tap is like the greatest shit in the world. And since we've gotten those, because there's one in the house and then one out here, I drink like three or four times the amount of water in a day that I ever did before. That's good. So they're great. I uh, I remember water. I remember coming to school, coming to high school with a backpack that had like six to eight water, like of those water bottles in it. But they were like the, the Nestle ones that were made out of like super thin plastic. They were really thin, thin yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah. And the caps were like that thick? Also is thin, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was probably the best... The time of my life where I was the best hydrated. You know, I, I drank out of those water fountains, but every once in a while we couldn't because they'd ban us from them, from them because the town would have a boil order. No, or or you got banned from the well, fucking that, that too. But listen, we don't. You know, that's... hey, I wish I could thump you. I'm trying to I'm trying to thump you on the head right now. I'm trying to thump you on the head right now. Thump you on the head. I hate Andrew. Was, Andrew wasn't there yet. We can't talk about. Inside stories that Andrew does. We've, we've already talked about that anyway. So, like, that's it's. Yeah. We've been down that road. The bumper. See, that's the problem with doing a podcast uh, for where a year. We live boring, where we all live boring lives is that we never have new shit. So we run out of stories. That's why we got to start lining up guests and shit, dude. I know. Yeah. You're right. And we got to start doing. Hey, can we mention the fact that uh, we remembered that we have uh, a fucking Patreon and if uh, if you're still one of those people, fucking thank you. We have some plans to integrate you guys kind of into the show in the near future. We, I really want to do some, I don't give a fuck what these two want to do. I really want to do some, uh, you know, like you guys send a little video clip in of a question and then we can answer it uh, or a topic starter or, you know, you know what are your thoughts yeah. on this? That kind of shit. Um, to to give you guys something that are contributing to the Patreon, a little something, something. We used to do that. We, we like, I think we have like four grand saved up in our in our oh, PayPal. So we're we're gonna w- buy a jet w- ski or something. Yeah, and make some no. bonus content. <laughs> I think we have enough for one of us to buy a copy of like Sonic the Hedgehog. And that a would probably coffee be. or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. But hey, that's not nothing. Yeah. Um. Speaking of like old shit, and I, we're, I'm, I'm really sorry for the uh, Patreon people, just because of you paying for this. Ugh. Ugh. And how would, why would you ever want to? But never mind. No, keep ahead. Yeah, we're, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's sweet of you. Very sweet. You need to check your credit card statements more carefully. I really need to check. Uh, no, 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 no. My credit card All statements are on. Fuck. No, they we're need to. Lose. They need to. Yeah. Yeah. They, they need to. They need to. We're gonna lose half our patrons after this airs. Oh, I'm sorry. I am. Pat- I gotta. I gotta be able to sleep at night. Oh no! I have to show you guys something. Oh, my dad is gone again. He should keep this important stuff in his office. I hit yeah, like what the xenomorph eggs over there? Whoop! Oh fuck you and fuck your my le- face. my lemon. Fuck you and your hey. fuck you your your stupid face. You're the one building fucking robots and shit. Go get some fucking paints and. and Paint those xenomorph eggs. Some more movie props. Oh, you bought a fucking record player, dude? Uh, like a really cool one, too. A really good one. A new one or, a, or like a vintage one? So here's the deal. I've been wanting to, but I just know I'll never use it. Here's the thing about record players, and we're gonna probably going to spend about like 10 minutes on this. Oh, God. I have two very good... I have three... Three... Like, very good record players... Like, high-quality record players down at the lake. I will bring one of them up, but the problem, the issue is, is getting the correct needles for them. Um, but I have a higher-end, um, new-style record player with uh, newer needle bullshit coming. And then I've got uh, a record player that just kind of looks cool. It's one of the ones where you, like, the records, like, sit in, like, vertically and play. The issue is, is that, like, I'm a purist, so 
Two of them are just like fuck off record players. I know, right? Nah. Um, but the one that is actually going to like make the most music is going to be the good one from like the 1970s. But um, I really love this resurgence of fucking records because everybody has records now, and they said record sales outsold fucking CD sales. Again, oh, for like all. three years in yeah. a fucking row. Well, and you can, the things is, you can go to Walmart right now and buy a brand new record player for not very much money. It's cool. But they're with shit. Retro. But they're shit. Pro- but it doesn't matter, Frank. This is why they're fucking selling better than CDs. And most cars and, and trucks these days don't have CD players anymore. Yeah. And my car does not have like, a CD player. They're re releasing old music and like newer albums are dropping on vinyl as well and it's a really cool way to support your favorite artist and have a big piece of fucking art that you can display or whatever you know yeah. everybody's all about collectibles and shit these days so it doesn't surprise me at all that that's happening yeah i was on that wave too i have a bunch of records that you know are recent printings and then i was finally like oh this is stupid and impractical i mean i still have a bunch but now like i just don't I, I like who has the time. I have a phone. Yeah, exactly. I have a the whole Alexa the whole play the new Limp Biscuit album. The whole world lives in here now. Yeah, but sometimes I like to shut this thing uh, off. Alexa, stop. I like to shut Alexa, this off. Stop. Okay, we're good. I like to shut this off. Okay. Can you stop throwing things. This is a bad recipe. He never will. There's you're talking to a wall. Um, because like, seriously, like if you actually like have a, like a good old school record player that has solid fucking needles on it and good goddamn solid speakers, player. yeah, play it solid. sounds so much better than what you listen to with your earbuds. And my hearing is going out and I'm like really starting to notice this. I'm only like fucking 32, 33 years old and my hearing. Oh, yeah, no. I know, right? And and, and now the next, oh fuck you guys! I'm in that age range, age range, but um, age range. My hearing is going out because of dealing with the equipment that I work on and the fact that I don't wear ear pro because if I wear ear pro, I don't hear whenever problems are happening with machines or bearings are going out or a belt is squealing well, you just fucked yourself by saying that on a podcast with millions of viewers because you could have just sued your fucking employer and retired early at my last place i worked for for like 11 years 10 years 10 months how could i have sued them it was it would be suing the state i wouldn't so, win i would never win i would never win i would never win but part of why I'm good at what I'm doing, I, no, I never would have fucking won a lawsuit against the state. Part of why I'm good is, but I'm not disabled yet. Actually, you are. You nine and a half fingers, bro. Yes. What's up? That kind of counts. Uh, right? No, but but honestly, like really good vinyl on really good speakers has bet much higher audio quality unless you have you're playing stuff on flack right andrew on like very mm-hmm. good expensive speakers i found some well, uh, even even th- then the thing that matters more is like are you using an amp like are you using nice headphones like i don't fuck around i'm not gonna buy nice speakers like i'm just not it's too expensive like there's too much shit that can happen to them i have pets i have a kid you know i'm it's gonna end up with a foot through them but i will spend some money on like a nice pair of headphones and a desktop amp i haven't done that yet but i will and yeah that's i feel like that makes a much bigger difference than whether or not you're listening to you know vinyl or cd or whatever yeah. i just got um uh, two things so I was going to say a couple of years ago at a yard sale, I actually found some like big box speakers, you know, like with the mesh on the front, like everybody had in yeah. when we were growing up and they were actually bows. And, uh, I picked them up for like five bucks. I didn't really have time to check them out there, but the cones ended up being, uh, like pressed in. Yeah. Uh, you can replace them. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, I think they're still in my garage at the other house, so I don't know if anybody wants to buy those for, for a shilling from me or whatever. But uh, Ten bucks. I, I've got Ten those. bucks. Uh, Fifteen, and it's a deal. But uh, I also... I also got, uh, I just got my wife a pair of the noise canceling Bose earbuds because I got a pair a while back. Finally broke down. I got like the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon for like 15 bucks or whatever. And they were like uncomfortable. Imagine that. And then I spent like 60 bucks for like some mid tier ones and they were better. Still kind of uncomfortable. Felt like they would fall out. Yeah. They fell out too often and stuff like that. Wasn't super happy with the uh, sound quality. So I bought the Bose uh, noise canceling earbuds. And I wasn't, I was like, I don't know if I buy like noise canceling earbuds, but sure as shit, man, they work really, really well. And I'm, I'm really happy with the audio quality on yeah. them and everything. They're nice. I like, there's so much competition in that space right now too, that like you're starting to get really nice earbuds for like pretty cheap. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's cool. I do appreciate that. And That's how everything goes. It starts off super stupid expensive, and then before you know yeah. it. I mean, like, think about, like, flash memory whenever that shit first came out. It was dumb expensive. Now you can get, like, a 64 meg, or 64 gig, 128 gig for, like, you could probably get a 128 gig for, like, what, 25 bucks? Like a, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 mini? yeah, 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 stupid i remember like my first thumb drive because i think we had like a class that we had to get one for they were like two or five gigs or something like that way back then i think if it, i think i by the i think i got one with like one or two gigs eventually what do you think like, you saw like 500 meg that's crazy I, yeah I think you like saw like 500 meg was like 512 or something yeah They're like two fifty. Yeah. and and they were like probably 50 bucks you know they weren't cheap you had to like beg your mom like, well i gotta have it for this computer class i'm in and she's like what the fuck I know that you guys hate me for this, but I have been very yes. happy. <laughs> yes, um, with the they Apple. Hate you because you're happy with with the Apple products. Um, no, the, but seriously, the uh, the AirPods have been good, and I am actually going to be getting a new set of the new AirPods. Going to be delivered here pretty soon. Are you Are you using the regulars or the pros? I'm going to be getting the. Uh, I have. The first gen ones or whatever that came with my, i my iPhone, I don't even know what the was it eleven or twelve, and what are we on now? Thirteen. We're on the thirteens, and the thirteens have the new ones. There's there's newer ones now. So I have the top of the line AirPod Pros from the twelves. Not because I don't have the. Um, the that thing, I don't. Know, I don't have the. How much are helicopter your pros? It doesn't matter two, at this point. They're like two fifty, I think. No, I think that's low. That's why he stayed quiet. No, here's here's the thing though. Is is it like my my AirPad? They 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 are the AirPad Pros from like the the Gen Twelve or from the AirPod from the iPhone Twelve, whichever ones were like the most expensive ones in. I um I actually put the the right headphone in, left it in my uh, pants pockets, and I ran it through the laundry twice, and it still works. I can still hear things, and they can still hear me on the phone. And it went through the full cycle of a washing machine twice, and it still works and very well. Well. All right then. Whereas every what's your, uh, what's your fucking point? Uh, they they fucking hold up, I guess, and they sound very well because I I I don't hear a lot of high frequency stuff or low frequency stuff anymore, but I can hear it with those plugged in my ears. These are my Pixel Buds A. They're a hundred bucks. They came with my phone, Damn, and that's, that's cool. they came they're all right. They're they're fine. They're not great. They're not the best pair of wireless headphones I've ever used, but also hundred bucks. It's nice to have the assistant in your ear whenever you want it because I tend to use that stuff pretty often. Right. It's convenient. I think the the noise canceling 
uh, bows were on sale when I got them for my wife like uh, a week ago. They were like one seventy nine, which was actually a pretty fucking good deal. And uh, yeah, they're fucking great. You hardly ever have to charge the things. You just put them in that. I think I've only charged the pod once, maybe, maybe twice. And this guy, really nice. this guy is, I think, the way to go though. If zip. you want to listen to music on your phone or whatever. So this is a, it's a Bluetooth dongle that on the top you can plug in any sort of headphone that has a 3.5 millimeter jack and it'll just connect to your phone that way. And you can use any sort of headphones because, you know, fucking phones don't come with headphone jacks anymore, which is bullshit. Um, but it also is an amp and it has USB-C on the bottom. And if you plug it into your computer, then it acts like an external sound card huh. and it gives you a much like higher standard of sound quality than your uh, your computer probably does unless you have a dedicated sound card in there. But my other thing is, is uh, I recharge my little shell for like mm -hmm. my earbuds. Like every two or three days, I have to recharge it because I constantly have earbuds in. So sure. there's probably no like, uh, probably everybody is uh, the same level of, of of length of battery life. We're probably like stuck in the same. Nobody has a one up on somebody else for battery life or not. Yeah. Not so much. Really. Everything is pretty much around. You're typically looking at about like 24 hours of charge, sort of like all told. Yeah. Okay. That's about where things are at. I think the AirPods are maybe a little more than that now, but they also like, like the ones with the stems, the, you know, the original AirPods that you're only supposed to last like three or four hours. They don't last terribly long. Uh, or this is a true a couple generations ago. I don't know where they're at now. No, they like they last like six eight uh, six to eight hours or so, like uh, okay. like a full day at work, and then I swap them because I have to put an earwig in and a radio. So I switch ear. Like I look like a secret service member with a ear. Oh, thing a, in. a surveillance thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Thank you, Javelin, for the song. Soda Popinski is the name of it. You foolishly let us use it for our dark purposes. Uh, thanks, Tyler Edwards, for our, our gravy train art. Our biscuit train, I guess, actually. Which is um, still for sale. We haven't received anybody's cash envelopes yet. Thanks to Netflix for producing Midnight Mass and Tiger so that we could talk about it. Thanks, Adam West, for, for being Batman in the 60s. Uh, so I've got a new cat coming, um, you cool cats and kittens. i got a new cat coming in next week. How many Why? fucking cats are you getting? I don't understand. Well, this one is supposedly like a hybrid fucking tiger, so I don't even know if I can live here with it. Because my thing is that we're going to like start filming Tiger King 3.0 up in this bitch. That'll go great. So who are you murder for hiring? Nobody. Well, yeah. then we don't have a show. I'm just, I'm just feeding that fucking tiger lasagna like he's fucking Garfield, man. Uh, the word of the week is... Why would you wait until the end to show us that? Isn't that the coolest Super Nintendo? Dude, and seen? I saw that on your old, whenever it was in the loft, and you had everything up in there in the loft. God damn, that's the coolest Dude, it, SNES ever. I just realized, there's a there's a match controller for it somewhere, and I don't remember, I don't know where it's uh, at. We, we just wasted fucking 45 minutes of content. The baddest fucking SNES you'll ever see, my dudes. Custom paint job, dude. Uh. Anyways, that was sorry. Uh, cop now. We're all you're all arrested. The word of the week is delayed gratification. 